It turns out Spencer... Spencer has a girlfriend. I don't enjoy seeing you like this. Maybe Esme does. Maybe it makes her feel needed. But not me. I had no idea you were setting me up. But here you were, spinning wild conspiracy theories about me and why. The only explanation is that you want Spence for yourself. There. I finally said it. He remembered. Wow. Well, that's Spencer, isn't it? What's up? Merci. Thanks, Esme. Appreciate it. Tell me that you don't remember tormenting Trina and setting Ava's car on fire and using me to drive a wedge between Ava and my father, all because your father put you up to it. If you walk out on me, my world will turn gray. The old Esme, the one who destroyed my entire world. Yeah, well, that's a little melodramatic. No. No, it isn't. Esme that targeted me at school, that tried to convince me that you loved me when you didn't. And the new Esme, whatever that facade was, it came very, very close to being a decent person and a good mother. But that Esme, gone. From an online pharmacy, this is a prescription filled by Esme. What? For the same drug that almost killed Oz Haggerty. You poisoned me. Because I called you Spence. That's right. Pay your memory back and they will hold you accountable for everything, Esme. Pills. I was going through all of Esme's things trying to find something that would clear you in court, Trina. I brought one of the pills to Britt. And she told me that it was an opioid analgesic. Something that when mixed with alcohol could cause a person to lose consciousness. You sure did that to me. I know. You have had trouble follow you since you first stepped foot into Port Charles. And now you expect us to believe that this disgusting stunt is somehow beneath you? Hey guys, let's just not do this. Right I don't want to do this at all, Cam. And I'm sorry if this is making things harder for you and Joss, but Esme is coming for me and I'll be damned if I don't defend myself. No, you're right. Trina's not to blame here. I'm the one at fault. A manner of speaking, I pushed for the weekend getaway and described it as a couple's trip, which made Trina feel like an outsider. Then I asked those provocative questions during the drinking game. It was immature and petty, and I'm sorry. Had I known it would push Trina over the edge? Oh, hell no, you it's haven't seen me go over the edge. It's not nothing. To Trina and our shared passion. What is this? You brought your turtle dove with you? Well, yeah. There might be weekends where we're gonna be back home and I'll be here. And it'll be like if we're still together. That's what this thing is for, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it sure is. That's pretty cute. Oh, you have yours with you? Yeah, I am. Um, I take this with me everywhere I go. Esme, what are you doing here? Well, with Ace gone, I've been all by myself. I've missed you and Spencer so much, so where else would I be? Trina, the captain's been attacked! Somebody's on the boat with us! Hello, Spence. <laughs> where is she? And you'll never find Trina in time, and you'll have killed us both. And until I have a safe in my arms, I want everyone who took him to suffer. Now you sit tight while I get our dinner. Where are you taking me? Well, someplace your grandmother won't find us. Tell me where Trina is right now. Trina happens to be vital to my 
so-called evil plan. I've left instructions for her to call Laura when she's free, and that'll take a minute. And by then, we will be long gone, and she will tell Laura to produce Ace at a time. My, 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 my grandmother does not know where Ace is. Yes, mate. Laura is a resourceful woman. I'm sure she'll get word to Nicholas somehow. Anyway, she'll be plenty motivated because the only way you survive is if I get Ace. My father's not gonna get Ace up. Stay away from him. I'm right back. Okay. Okay. We gotta get out of here. Yeah. What about her? Let her bleed. Yeah. 